Good morning, guys. Mine happened to our friends there in the Philippines. Guys, uh, up on a screen, uh, the big lump of lard from the Bohovel Boss Hog. Um, guys, recently we have exposed him for buying likes, buying comments, and buying views. His channel is in free fall. His channel is going down, pardon the pun, it's going down the tubes. It's absolute trash content and it shouldn't be on YouTube, but he's trying to save it. And while exposing him for buying likes, comments and views, he's decided that um, because we are exposing him, he's now doing videos trying to justify his actions. Trying to make up stories about, well, this is the way the algorithm works. And this is the way YouTube works. Well, Brian, uh, to put a like on a video and for it to stick, you've got to watch the video. If not, it's a bought like. It's a bought comment. You've got comments on your channel all from fake accounts, all emoji comments all fake now on this screenshot guys this video literally went up one hour ago okay and what you will see on the screen in front of you here is 36 views after 11 minutes and 214 likes that's impossible unless you bought the likes before the video went up and as you see, I'm not lying. Look at the comments on the left-hand side. They're all emoji comments. That is fake comments. They are bought comments. Now then, let me explain to you this. Uh, kind of in simpler terms. A successful channel on YouTube, um, if they fail, they fail. And they don't get on YouTube and try to justify why they're failing. They don't have to try and prove people are wrong as to why the content is trash yet they're getting a lot of likes and a lot of views but this person on the screen seems to want to do that and he wants to do that for a reason because he's solely and totally dependent on YouTube salary he has got no content and it's hurting bad. His channel's going down. He's got no income. What were you doing exposing him and what we've been doing and concentrating on exposing him is having an effect. It was having an effect some months ago till he got a bit of a revival with the uh, typhoon. But now it's really starting to bite and he's panicking and he is desperate. And guys, I just want to... um show you something on another screenshot here but in this video he was thanking his um his supporters and his subscribers but i want you to take a look at this next screenshot yeah guys in this screenshot taken from social blade uh, what you will see is youtube states uh stats or i say uh, for a foreigner farming in the philippines Guys, take a look in the left-hand column at the bottom, what you will see. On the 4th of March, on the 4th of March, 2022, uh, it is now the 5th of March. So this was yesterday. And on the 4th of March, only yesterday, Boss Hog somehow, somehow got 800 new subscribers not 100 800 and in his video he's there thanking all his new subscribers this is a man who believes his own lies there is nowhere on god's green earth did he get 800 subscribers yesterday his channel doesn't warrant it it's absolute garbage content 
There's no one watching these videos apart from a few diehards. And what the views that you see on there, the view count, is all bought. Here he is, proven, caught like a rat in a trap. 800 subscribers bought on the 4th of March 2022. So, Brian, uh, can you please get Social Blade up on your screen and uh, talk about these 800 subscribers? Because they're all fake. And you're sitting there actually thanking 800 fake subscribers. <laughs> you're believing your own lies. You need, I said in an earlier video that you need treatment and you need to go and get some treatment because you are totally delusional. You really are. Guys, this is just more proof, more evidence. We don't do innuendo and lies. We bring you proof and there's the proof that yesterday, 800 plus subscribers in one day. No, Brian, your channel does not warrant that. It doesn't warrant it. What we are seeing is the demise, the disintegration of a foreigner farming and failing in the Philippines channel. That channel is now dead. Um, he's trying his best to keep himself afloat. He's paddling like hell, but it won't do any good. Your name, Bossog, Maricel, your name, your attitude, the filth and squalor that you live in is out there on the tube. You cannot reinvent trash. Trash will always be trash and your channel is dead. It's over. So guys, there's the proof. It's up on the screen. Boss Hog thanking his 800 new subscribers. Absolute bull crap guys till the next time bye for now